To the Virgins, To Make Much of Time by Robert Herrick, 1591-1674 Gather ye rosebuds while ye may, old time is still a-flying. And this same flower that smiles today, tomorrow will be dying. The glorious lamp of heaven, the sun, the higher he's a-getting, the sooner will his race be run, and nearer he's to setting. That age is best which is the first, when youth and blood are warmer, but being spent the worse, and worst, time still succeed the former. Then be not coy, but use your time, and while ye may, go marry, for having lost but once your prime, you may for ever tarry. OK, this is a poem by Robert Herrick. Let's see. Um, Robert Herrick, um, uh, he, he was uh, born in London and then moved to a farm in Leicestershire. And uh, then he went to St. John's College, Cambridge. Um, he became an Anglican priest and he had... Uh, he became an Anglican priest in, I think it was in Devonshire, in Devon, and um, he was um, kicked out of his place in Devonshire during the uh, English Civil War with uh, Oliver Cromwell and the Parliament. And when the Restoration came, he was given back his uh, vicarage in uh, Devonshire. OK, so what's this poem about? It says, To the virgins, to make much of time. This poem, it's saying, Carpe diem, again, seize the day, act now. Yeah, act now. If you don't act now, your time will, your time will have gone. Yeah, act while you are you are young, um, because um, while you're young and beautiful, solidify your fortune. Make uh, do everything that you want to do, because um, <coughs> beauty will not and uh, will not last forever. Ever, youth does not last. And um, you you need you need to act now, carpe diem. Don't waste time doing silly things. Uh, make the most of your time. Uh, don't squander the squander your years. Um, okay, so gather ye rosebuds while ye may. Old time is still a flying. So collect rosebuds, the buds of roses, when you can, because time is flying past. And rosebuds are clearly a symbol of transient beauty. A rosebud is there today, but a couple of days and it's gone. And this same flower that smiles today, tomorrow will be dying. So this beautiful rosebud that is wonderful today will be a dying flower tomorrow so don't wait too long the glorious lamp of heaven the sun the higher he's a getting so the sun it's getting higher and higher and higher in the sky the sooner will his race be run and nearer he's to setting so the higher the sun gets in the sky, the sooner it will be time for the sun to set, that the day will be finished, and um, he uh, uh, and there is little there the the day is going, yeah, and there is no way for 
us to control control time the sun is like the the sun is this glorious lamp of heaven the glory of heaven yeah um the sun which is co connected directly with god and um there is no way to control it so act now that age is best which is the first so the f your first age when you're young that's the the best it's the best age to be when your youth and blood are warmer so these are the most valuable days yeah it's when your strength and your um desire to do things is strongest but being spent the worst and worse times still succeed the former but once your youth is spent once your youth is gone then um, things just get worse you have less energy you have uh, l l less um, desire to do things and things go from the worse to the worst and I guess the very worst is death itself so things don't get better they get worse then be not coy but use your time so don't be coy don't be shy use your time don't play games with your lives and while ye may go marry so marry while you're young yeah um don't be uh, shy about your interactions with men for having lost but once your prime you may forever tarry so um, we need to marry when we're young and beautiful but uh, once our prime has gone uh, we may take forever to get married we may never marry to tarry is to take time to go slowly yeah um, so once our prime is gone then it's possible we will never get married so don't waste your youth act now um, I let's see this uh, th th this poem I think is equally uh, valid for men and for women I think at the time it was written it was written for women but I think this is the, the, he he's saying that we must use our strength while we are young um, do do things what while, while you have the strength because when you're older um, you have less strength and less desire to do things mm, but maybe you do things in a more intelligent way well we see this is a way of looking at things carpe diem seize the day enough if you enjoyed the video give it a rating subscribe to my channel and i will see you soon bye for now to the virgins to make much of time by robert herrick